Good morning, everybody. A little bit of overcast this morning here in Texas, but the temperatures after a while are going to be horrendous. Man, um, I think it's going to be something like 106 or something today, tomorrow. No, 107 today, 108 tomorrow. And that's the real temperature. And then the real feel, which like the heat index, is going to be much higher. You know, I didn't realize that Europe is underneath a major heat wave as well. All oh, Portugal, Spain, France, Italy, Rome, just all over there. The UK and setting record temperatures since they had started keeping up with it like in 1833. Unbelievable. Not only that, they also, just like us right here, had a winter drought, a spring drought, and crops are suffering, fields are burning, reservoirs are low, uh, ponds are drying up. That really is bad. And they're having a lot of fires break out in Portugal and Spain and all right now and in France as well. So we're not suffering alone. They're suffering with us at the same time. And, uh, and we're really hitting some high temperatures this week. Now it's not record temperatures for us here in July in Texas because this is kind of like a regular occurrence for us but it is a big deal for them even China is getting hit with it as well well we're lucky this morning that there's just a little bit of cloud cover here you can see just a little bit of clouds well I'm up here on top of my roof I'm up here on my roof up on the second floor of my house here and uh, we're doing a little work over here on the eve. I'm gonna get over here and help them. We're putting up a long treated tube of six out there and uh, building in our soffit and all down that side. And I'm gonna get over here real quick and help them um, handle that while it's still cool up here this morning, while we can actually still touch the tin without burning up on it. And uh, we're gonna get this day started. Hope all of you are doing well out there. Hope you're staying safe, stay cool, and let's see what this day holds. They're working high up on ladders. I said, look, man, I can get up there on that roof. I'm not scared of heights. I'll hang over that side up there, and y'all bring that board up, and I'll hang over and screw it in place everywhere. So that's what they just did. I just helped them out with it. Got that task. Made it a whole lot easier for them, a lot safer for them. I said, let's do it now because this metal is going to get too hot for me to lay on in just about another hour. Whew. It's getting a little near lunchtime right now. The guys are still outside working on the house, trying to beat the heat. And so I thought I'm going to cook me up a little bit of lunch. So we got this turkey here that I cooked outside on the grill. Go good old turkey in there. It's a popping. Now I am going to add a little olive oil to go along with that. Throw in some mushroom here with it. Now I'm trying to eat healthy, so I'm going to add things in, just like that broccoli right there. Broccoli is very good for you. And let's go ahead and add that rotel. That's going to give it a big burst of flavor and a little spice to it, too. That's going to be wonderful stuff right there. That's where all the flavor is about to come from. But you know what I do want to add in here is a little bit of snow peas. Smells very nice and spicy. I like that.
All right, I'm gonna let that simmer for a little while, throw a lid on it here. Flames down low. The aroma with that Rotel in there is just out of this world. Y'all tell me y'all like cooking with that Rotel. Uh, of course you can make queso dips and stuff with it. But house, y'all cook with Rotel. Tell me what you like to use it in. Your recipes, I like to know about it. Maybe it might be something I want to try too. So we'll add a little lime on here. I think that'll give it a very nice little flavor topping there. Think about these cast iron skillets. They will continue on to cook even after you turn off the heat. It's very nice actually. When you're dieting, food can taste so bland. It gets pretty boring. So you're gonna have to get creative and um, you can do that. There's a lot of ways you can do it and make it not so boring and it's still staying in the realm of being healthy and good for you. So right here we've got turkey breast and we've got broccoli, mushrooms, snow peas, and we have rotel, which is diced tomatoes and chilies and all. Mmm, that changed that turkey tremendously. Oh my God, it's so good. This would have been good with some beans in it sure would have mm. yep a little bit of beans in here would have made this absolutely delicious let me try one of these snow peas out it's good stuff It's just miserably hot here. Man, oh man. I know y'all are probably so tired of me saying that, but I'm telling you, I would love to go to the Philippines and cool off. There is about a, well, they're running in the, the mid to low 80s there at the house. We're watching it each day. Uh, I have a little app on my phone that shows me the weather right there where we're at and the temperature there at the beach. In the Philippines, at our house there in Tigbawan, and they're running down in the mid 80s or so. So they're running at, at least a good 20 degrees cooler than we are or more 20 to 24. And that's a big difference. So when you say go to the Philippines, which is a tropical country and cool off. Yeah, that's just what I mean. Yeah, the wind is blowing and it's just like a heater blowing hot air right in your face. Actually, I liked it better when it was still. So, here at Home Depot, they're out of that siding that I use on my house. I was at the neighboring place over here. It's right next door to it called McCoy's. And they too are out of it, so they can order it right now, but it may take a week or two to come in. So I'm gonna go up here, took the SKU number, and I'm gonna go to the counter up here at Home Depot and see if they can check. If they have some maybe up on a high shelf somewhere or when they can have it in. Well, that was a waste of time. I drove up here and wasted gas and time, wasted money for a empty load. So <laughs> Home Depot on that siding, that Colonial Rough Zone, eight inch wide siding in the hardy plank, hardy board. They um, said they had 119 pieces in stock. I said, well, I need 50 pieces of it. And they said, well, we'll get it pulled and they would use fort lift and bring it out to my truck. 
and then <laughs> I waited and I waited and waited and waited and waited and nobody was pulling nothing I went to a lady and she said no they're they're working on it they'll be getting it pulled for you then another lady spoke up and said no they need to verify we have it first and they've got to load these two big bundles of drywall on somebody else's trailer before they can check if we even have it these guys took forever with a forklift apparently a totally inexperienced driver to go load the sheetrock it was such an ordeal and I said can y'all just get somebody else to go check and see if you have these 119 pieces no nope, no nope, they're the only two people that can do it so those two guys right there and I'm like oh my god this is gonna be closing time by the time it happens so then some other woman come up until she's tired and wore out she's done had a day and she checks and and she says you know what we don't have that uh, but let me go check and see and she disappears for about 15 minutes and she comes back and she said no nope, We got an eight and a quarter. We don't have an eight inch. I said an eight and a quarter and an eight inch Why would they make an eight and a quarter versus an eight inch? Well that other she's talking about is actually a like a fascia material. That's not actually Siding right there and I said no you're, you're missing. I took around over and, and shoulder they had one broke piece on the shelf and oh i see i see now well no we don't have that i said well, why does it show that it has it in your inventory well sometimes when these orders are placed it'll go ahead and show it in our inventory even though it's still on a truck coming from the distributor to here so nevertheless <laughs> just kind of give me a long story there but nevertheless i end up driving away from there with nothing man i just could not believe it and I was there forever. Yeah. So, um, I guess it's just kind of like in the Philippines. Sorry, sir. Out of stock. I'd already been to one place before then. And it was out of stock. Yeah, i tell you what. Actually, I'm going to get a real finite count of what we need to 100% make sure we finish that house. And get it. And, uh get the house complete there and done and over with.